all of the work in my lab concerns in one way or another the problem of cardiac muscle cell number. Uh, heart muscle cells die with heart attacks and other heart forms of heart disease and they're not replaced in adequate number to offset the cell destruction that occurs. In this ERC grant, we're specifically studying the role of an enzyme called telomerase, which some people speak of as an anti-aging enzyme, uh, and its role in cardiac stem cells, uh, cardiac cells durability, and cardiac repair. 40% of death and disability in Western nations uh, is from heart disease, so it's the commonest cause of death. Heart failure is the commonest uh, discharge diagnosis when leaving the hospital for elderly patients and, and that will only increase over the coming years as patients survive into their 80s and 90s in increased number. Uh, the problem with heart failure is at least in part a problem that heart muscle cells are lost and not replaced. Uh, telomerase is, is one protein that can serve in both ways. Uh, it can protect cardiac myocytes from different forms of stress uh, and its role in cardiac progenitor cells or stem cells is probably essential uh, to their ability to continue to proliferate and make new, uh, new cells late in life. In five years time or something close to it, we hope to be moving uh, adult heart derived progenitor cells that my lab discovered uh, from small mammal testing to large mammal testing and have shown to be safe and effective uh, in experiments uh, into human studies. It's possible that raising the levels of telomerase uh, in progenitor cells or stem cells may make them even more effective uh, in cell therapy uh, by allowing them to be grown more easily and by making them uh, more able to survive uh, the forms of stress that one encounters in heart disease and other disorders.